This training video covers the basic layout of the Mover Suite application and provides a new user a good understanding of the data and functions available to them. For this training, we will demonstrate input of a new move request in Mover Suite. For client applications, open Mover Suite through a desktop shortcut. As the application comes up, we receive a login prompt. Enter the username and password provided to us by the system administrator. Press OK to continue. This opens the application and places us on the contents page. This page lists the areas of functionality available to us. In Mover Suite, we refer to these as modules of functionality. Each listing is a button that, when clicked, opens a particular module. For this demonstration, we will be utilizing the Order Information module. We received a request for a move, so we are going to create a lead in Mover Suite. We do this by clicking on New and selecting Lead. This prompts us to enter a branch. Select the branch that owns the lead. Press OK. The application opens to a lead entry screen. Enter all pertinent information related to the order within this screen. If the order is under a known national account type, then select the appropriate account profile from the list. Selecting the account profile here can preset data on the order, such as the default salesperson and coordinators assigned to work the order. Before we press Save, we can schedule a survey for the move with our sales personnel. Clicking the calendar icon opens Outlook for the person. From here, we can schedule a survey by selecting the date and time preferred by the shipper and choosing a new appointment from the right-click options. Mover Suite keeps track of what we have entered for the lead and allows us to paste this into the body of the appointment. Use the control key plus the letter V to paste the contents or use a right-click option. Save and verify that the appointment is correct. Behind the scenes, Mover Suite sends out an email to the salesperson letting them know that a new survey appointment exists for them. With the survey scheduled, we can go back to the Sales Lead Information screen and press Save. The Name Address Phone tab updates to reflect the data captured from our sales lead. Notice that the coordinator and task fields are set automatically for us. These fields and others were set when the account profile was defined. At this point, we have the lead on record and we can book the order. To book the order, we would press Book Order. This opens a dialog where a user can verify the name, branch, and set the move type. Let us take a closer look at the data available within Mover Suite. The blue bar that runs along the top of Mover Suite includes the order number, shipper name, branch, and salesperson assigned to the order. We also have access to order documents by clicking this icon. From the Document Management Viewer, we can add and view all documents associated to the order, such as invoices, work tickets, bill of ladings, and more. Viewing the data within the Move Information tab, we find all our move dates. It includes valuation settings, automobile information, manage and track any containers for the order, provide estimate carton counts, and creating information for the order through the CPU button. The next tab over is the Extra Stops tab. Use this tab to manage additional stops and segments on the move. View and manage agents involved on the move through the Agents tab. Use the SIT Recurring Billing tab to record storage and transit data, set key storage dates, such as the date the shipment went into permanent storage. Tasks can be generated with a due date based on many of these dates. We can create and manage storage billing for the order through this tab as well. Use the Billing Information tab to document key financial information for the order. This includes how the order is to be paid, who is the actual paying customer, national account affiliation, and rating, tariff, and the estimate amount provided to the customer are also documented here. Along the right side of the tab, we have the ability to document any items for third-party vendors. On the Quote tab, we can view and add physical quotes to the shipper. Accepted quotes are visible to revenue personnel where they can import directly as revenue. If we need to print or email a quote, you can do so by selecting Quotes from the Reports and Letters menu. Add request for company and local services through the Local Services tab. Local service requests are based off the selected company branch, service type, and date. When the services are ready for dispatching, select one or more services and then press Send to Dispatch. This sends the service to a queue for dispatchers to clear or make adjustments in. On the Tasks tab, we can view action items assigned to us and other order personnel. 
These tasks generate based on the task definition setting found on the Name Address Phone tab. Tasks are to-do items that are assigned to key personnel associated to the order. The due date for tasks is based off of many of the move dates we set, including those set through the Lead Entry screen and through the Move Information tab. We can use the Military Government tab for data that is unique to military shipments. Data stored on this tab includes the GBL number, SSN, service information, base designation, and more. Also, if our company integrates with EasyDPS, then updates to this data and to the scoring information occur automatically. Open the Notes tab to view information gathered along the life of the order. Quickly add notes through the Add Notes button, or we can append to an existing note through a right-click option. Mover Suite allows for different types of notes that come from multiple sources. All order level notes are visible within the Notes tab, available throughout all Mover Suite modules. If our company has custom fields established, then we can access these settings through the User Defined Fields tab. System specific fields are available for every order, and National Account specific are available based on the account assigned to the order through the Billing Information tab. Reference the Account Profile tab to view critical information regarding the assigned account. This tab displays the account assigned to the order, the key personnel to contact, general notices regarding the account, and a list of services available to the shipper for this account. And we have access to the Container Tracking screen, and the Job Costing screen as well. Thank you for watching our video.